The winter exercise is a, is a protocol developed by uh, Texas uh, A&M University. And the idea during this exercise is to take technology or emerging technologies and not only demonstrate the capability, but also to get it out there and put it into the hands of the end users who have to use it and get the feedback. It's a technology demonstration where we can take together innovations, missions, things that we've been hearing from the different responders and really focus on one technology and see how it's working and what the response is, how it can best fit the complex systems that responders have to work in. Well, we are looking at a situation where in, in this scenario where a tornado, an F3 tornado, which is a, a fairly moderate sized tornado, touched ground out at a remote site about nine miles away and stayed on the ground all the way from our Riverside location to here to Disaster City. So over this large area, I have resource requests and needs in two different areas. So I need to balance those with information. We've got the experimental band class 14 uh, network, 4G LTE network, which is the dedicated spectrum under the FirstNet program in a, in a proof of concept setting. Effectively a, a cellular capability on wheels, what we ca call a cow. Uh, that uh, provides area coverage for this advanced broadband uh, network in that dedicated uh, first responder spectrum. In the past, it's pen and paper, and we're compiling that, we're adding it up, we're calling it in on the radio. What we're doing here though is incorporating this technology which allows us to use smart devices, smartphones, smart tablets, to use an intact network and to be able to input that information real time while we're doing it. Well when you think about it, um, you know, if you look at the way everyone lives today and we're working on our smartphones and our tablets and everything else, they have instant access to information. They have just a plethora of data out there. They can share information with other folks quickly. And that's the type of thing that's been somewhat lacking in the public safety space. So what we're doing is building parallel networks to the carriers so that as the carriers are supporting the community at large, the public safety networks are supporting the first responders. Once you get that network out there in the hands of very uh, technical, savvy users, you know, digital natives who've grown up with this capability, uh, we'll see where that, where that takes them. It's all about the, the human element, the user. Uh, it's really, the technology is just an enabler. Instead of taking 15 minutes out of every hour trying to get this information gathered and accurately compiled and then radioed in, we're moving the entire time. We can put that information in on the go. So we are able to do our jobs quicker. The idea of taking new technologies and applying them in this disaster scenario so that we can improve our ability to protect infrastructure and save lives is very, very important. Downrange, we're providing a GeoSuite, which is an application that provides a tremendously powerful user interface at whatever commercial edge device they're having, uh, like a bring your own device. Uh, very simple, very intuitive, and allows them again to conduct their missions with uh, great alacrity and agility. From a standpoint of the everyday citizen, they'll be very comfortable and confident knowing that we are applying every tool, every technique, every possible way that we can help them to survive an event that is a disaster, whether it be man-made or whether it be a natural disaster, so that they can be confident that we're doing our best to help them. It was a very easy process to learn how to use the software, um, to understand how it can be integrated into the search routine uh, to support um, Texas Task Force One and understanding the information that they require and um, it works very well. As, at the end of the day you make uh, good decisions with, uh, with, I call it art, accurate, reliable uh, and timely information and, uh, and the, the system is giving me that information. None of these capabilities in the hands of first responders would be possible without the network. That's what General Dynamics C4 Systems provides.